Guys, I'm so excited today. We get to go over seven different forms of art in the Bible. Okay. And rolling. First thing, God created. God created the heavens and the earth. Right out of the gate, Genesis 1.1. This is so important because this is defining for every art that we do. All of creation was created to glorify God. And by extension, we get to create to glorify God. And a lot of our inspiration comes from creation. Music, guys, music is everywhere in the Bible. One of my favorites is, of course, the Psalms. We have David, who's this amazing composer. He's creating all this amazing music. We use this music today. Still, in our churches, we have modern renditions of all this incredible music. Architecture. Who can miss architecture in the Bible? We have, of course, first the tabernacle, which was created by men, but instructed by God, directly instructed by God. And we have this indwelling of the Holy Spirit on the craftsmen as they create this temple, which is the tabernacle, which is the reflection of the temple later, which leads us to the temple, which is also an amazing architecture. And it's such an amazing architecture that once Solomon builds it, we have people coming from all over the world to see this temple. Poetry. Let's get into poetry, right? Poetry kind of goes along hand in hand with music in the Bible, right? Because we actually don't have any musical notes that have survived from the Bible, but we have this amazing poetic structure that the Jews have created of a lot of poetic structure which is reflected in our modern literature. Poetry is so powerful. It brings out a lot of prophecy. It brings out a lot of just raw emotion towards God and towards other people and love, right? Brings out a lot about love. And don't forget the Song of Solomon, ladies. Stories, guys. Like the whole Bible, come on. Stories are important, and I think this is something that we all need to realize. The reason the Bible is written in a story is because it helps us remember all the truths that are just packed in there. Monuments. Monuments is one of those things that we find all sequentially through the Bible. We have people building altars, we have Jacob building his monument to God to remember the place where he had the dream of the angels coming down from heaven. We have Moses building things. <laughs> we have people just building stuff all the time, right? We have the, them when they cross the Jordan, they build that mound of rocks in the middle of the Jordan where they cross and then outside with the 12 stones representing the 12 tribes. We really just have lots of just monuments being built. Dance, guys. Dance is in the Bible. Dance is this very important part of worship. It's almost like this bodily response to music and just the glory of God. We find this response when they cross the Red Sea and Miriam just breaks out into dance and music. She brings out her tambourines and her and her ladies are just like going at it. We also have this moment when David is just overwhelmed by the presence of God and he just starts dancing in the streets and just his clothes just falls off. It's one of those moments in the Bible, you know, and his wife is like, oh my goodness. You know, it's, 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 these are seven ways that we found in the Bible where there's art. And there might be others. And if, if there are others, guys, leave them in the comments below. Let us know so maybe we can cover some of those. Guys, art for the glory of God. This is what it's all about. Right? So remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and see you later.